Hey, it's day number 7 of our 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers. And today we're going to be looking at how to present your OPEX in PowerPoint. However, I have a special surprise for you. Today we won't only be looking at how to present and improve one slide, we'll be actually doing two slides. This is because I want to emphasize that many of our templates include more than just one slide for your needs and many of them are just waiting for you to use them on your data and unlock a whole new world of insights. So let's start with slide number one, which is detailing our operational expenses. And when we look at the slide, we are again greeted with a plain table. And I'm thinking that there is a conspiracy against me because of all the tables. However, no, I'm, I'm just joking. As we said before though, the table, plain table, can be a pretty complex way of expressing data. We do see that it has some context though with previous year and plan, but I am missing some variances. Right now it's really hard for me to tell, are we doing good or are we doing bad? It's almost impossible to tell. Looking at it now, I do think we could do also with some hierarchies here. It would be cool to understand which lower parts of the hierarchy actually add together into the higher, the top part of the hierarchy to better understand the flow of the data is showing us. So as we can see, a plain table often requires more steps or more given context, presented context to understand fully. And this is not something that we want from our visualizations. We want them to have the complete context already in them without the need of getting more context to understand the story. Now this same point can be used to ask you what are the most important categories in the table. It's hard to answer and it was also hard to answer for the analysts preparing this as they felt that they need an extra visualization to make these categories stand out properly. On these visualizations we can again see that we have quite a lot of data. We have data for actuals, for previous year and for plan. However, it's really hard to distinguish between them. Something that would help would be, let's say, some color shading or patterns. However, this would probably require a manually created legend to tell us which one is which, leaving us with even less space to show our data. The color usage itself is not pretty great here, right? As you remember probably in international business communication standards, strong colors like this, so strongly saturated colors, should only be used for variances. In short, we could say don't use color if it doesn't mean anything. I also feel that we could use the space taken up by the donut chart a lot better. If we would use this space to put in some more insights or actually add context with comments, it would be a lot better. However, as it stands right now, it's really hard for me to answer. Are we doing better or worse than plan or previous year? I don't really understand the relationships between the categories as well. Right now this all feels as a lot of wasted space and too much complexity. So honestly at this time this kind of feels like just a big number showcase without any real point to it. Maybe we're expecting these kind of breakdowns or maybe we just like seeing them. However this shouldn't be the case. Our report should help us drive action, make informed decisions to better ourselves. And with these kind of just number showcases, it's really impossible to answer even the most basics of questions, which is, are we doing better and why? I feel like we have to start visualizing this completely from scratch and make it a lot simpler. And we're gonna start by visualizing our scenarios with Zebra BI tables. They're gonna offer these awesome visualizations where we're gonna understand the hierarchy of our OPEX a lot better. We're also going to add to our visualization the automatically created, calculated, scaled, and visualized variances that we needed to put in absolutely no extra input. Now that we have this, adding our comments with comment markers is going to help us understand exactly what data point they're trying to give us more context to and explain. And of course, now putting in an awesome title, we're done. Now that we have this, it's easy to understand that we are doing better than planned. And although we are still awaiting some costs, 
we still see that in those categories we still have some leeway before we hit the planet numbers. Before we go forward, like the video and subscribe so you won't miss what we're going to be visualizing tomorrow. Write your guesses into the comment section below. Now for slide number two, where we're going from our full OPEX overview to our marketing expenses. And we can see that quite a lot of points that we made from the previous slide still hold true here, especially color usage and data density. We also can see that we have half of the slide covered by a big chart with actual previous year and planned data. However, it's missing one thing. Well, more than one thing, but it's missing one general thing, which is, say it with me, Variances! Yes, that's correct. Variances. Variances would really help us here understand exactly where we're spending too much and where we're saving money. We also have here very extensive comments that are missing one very important thing, which is comment markers. With comment markers, we would understand exactly which comment refers to which data point. Now, we don't really know that as well. We also now can go one step forward and visualize also the breakdowns of our PR and events and our marketing campaign costs to understand better how we're spending money and make better business decisions. So download the template from the description below so you will be able to make better data-driven decisions and not decisions made by your intuition. Also, like, subscribe to the video so you won't miss the next day of our 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers.